Yo, what's up? We back again. Today we're going to start off with the new, starting a new YouTube channel, man. And I want to just ask you. I'm just asking. Hey, today we're going to talk about uh, what we doing with Carson Wentz, man. For all my Commanders fans. Carson Wentz. Hey, first week, look like Carson Wentz, man. Like, you know he going to take us on a roller coaster ride. But I'll say this. I'll give you the, we'll go with the cons first. Accuracy. Oh, yeah, man. He threw a lot of high balls. Man, he missed a lot of wide open targets. I ain't going to say a lot, but he missed completable receptions. But, uh. Man, he came out the gates looking good. I ain't even going to lie. He came out the gates looking great. Then, oh, man, he got to the sporadic constant wins. You know, and then, you know, he already got the bulls out on his back because everybody's saying, oh, man, he inaccurate. I'm like, you came to the perfect place coming to D.C. because, man, we don't get no love with the media anyway. So you perfect, man. This whole team is set up for you because we all got, you know, a chip on our shoulder from the coach, from the defensive coach to the wide receiver. Man, the whole, the whole team as a whole, the organization, the owner, everybody has, oh, man, everybody is under the radar. So, man, hey, look, the pros are, hey, man, hey, now we actually have the ability to go deep. So that's a plus. And then, man, this is probably the most talented team that you probably ever had. Even though only one that we got is proven. Well, we do got two proven. We got Terry McLaurin. And we got Curtis Samuel coming off an injury, man. But first game, so far, so good. See, the main thing about Carson Wentz and just this whole team as a whole, man, we got to stay healthy. If we can stay healthy, oh, we're going to make some moves. But for the first part, hey, Carson, you did too. You did good. Now, I don't know. Now, you had two picks. Now, I'm going to talk about... um. And the pick that you had to Curtis Samuels, uh, I don't know if that was a miscommunication. I don't know if Kurt ain't do something right. I don't know if it was a bad, well, I'm going to say it's a bad call on Scott Turner because we had seized the momentum. We was up 14-3. Now you got to kind of tone it down a little bit and start running the football. But, uh I'll give you the blame for that one just because the quarterback's supposed to take the blame. Now, the second interception you had, hey, man, the, the rookie just made a great defensive play, man. So I'm not really too mad at that one because, hey, both teams get paid. They professionals. And he made, man, he made a spectacular defensive play. So, okay, you threw two interceptions. Okay, so now we down. We down. And the thing, this is what I love, and they're going to underestimate you with. But, um, man, you got it together. You held your composure, and you got it together, man. So that was a beautiful thing.